Hello brothers and welcome back to another video. So we have a new chapter focus. Scratch that, it's not a chapter focus because it's not a chapter, it's a Xenos faction. So it's a Xenos focus. And this is of course for the Tyranids in the latest installment of the Psychic Awakening series, Blood of Baal. For those of you who are not aware, it features the Blood Angels and it features the Tyranids. Now there's a lot of cool stuff in this article, some really game-changing stuff in my opinion. So let's jump in and let's get through it all. So one of the big things to stand out for me now is you can actually make your own high fleet which is really really cool it's kind of what we already had with the adeptus to start is where you can make your own successor chapters and all that you know kind of stuff it says here high fleet adaptations codex tyranids introduced the idea of high fleet adaptations for example tyranids from high fleet gorgon get adaptive toxins to help kill their prey in close combat it has a nice little picture of gorgon adaptive toxins but now it says now blood of Baal lets you create your own high fleets and you get to choose its high fleet adaptations that's why i'm comparing it to the whole chapter successor things what the space marines had because you basically make your own space marine chapter and you can randomly pick what to take and what not to take and stuff like that and make your own little nice little mix which best suits you in a more narrative sense or a more you know power kind of sense when you come to do uh, tournaments and stuff like that it says the new book includes a list of cool rules and you get to select two of these abilities if you've ever dreamed of being a known queen uh, your day has come try hyper -met metabolic acceleration holy emperor how did i even say that and and senses of the outer dark for high fleets and all about munching in mila they'll help you get where you're going faster and potentially magate those um effects of overwatch when you get there and we actually have these now um as you've seen in the background so hyper metabolic Al acceleration oh my god i said it twice in a row what is going on so um, when a unit with this um adaptation advances you can re-roll advance rolls okay so you know if you if you didn't do it then you can do it again uh, well sorry if, if you've got a crappy um, um advance roll you know and you want the six hopefully you can get another six senses of the outer dark when a model with this adaptation would lose a wound um, as a result of an overwatch attack roll 1d6 on a four plus that wound is not lost that's pretty decent it's kind of um you know like an in, a little, little invulnerable in save on overwatch only overwatch by the way it doesn't count anything else so yeah that's pretty nice and we all really know well for me anyway when i think of tyranids i always think of tyranids in melee because it's the swarm it's just it's just the endless swarm of bugs coming at you with their claws their chompy little arms just ripping through your armor and tearing you asunder now it goes into some of the information about the psychic stuff as well now um as far as i'm aware it doesn't mention anything for like um you know making your, your own high fleet psychic stuff it seems like this is all for the uh, the the pre-made um, um, high fleets. So it says now Psyche Beasts from Behemoth, Kraken, Leviathan, uh, Gorgon, Hydra, Kronos can select a power Pacific to their high fleet. Um, battle through the Red Scar, High Fleet Leviathan has been using a hive nexus to keep their creatures from reverting to instinctive behavior. And the thing you're seeing in the background is the one dedicated to Leviathan. So Hive uh, Nexus, and it says Hive Nexus has a warp charge value of six. If manifested until the start of your next psychic phase, the range of synapse ability for friendly Leviathan units is 18 inch instead of 12. Now I'm going to hold my hands up completely in the air. I have no idea what synapse is. I've never played against. Have I? No, I've never played against a Tyranid player at all. I've, I've seen people play Tyranids, but I've never had the chance to sit down and actually play against a Tyranid player. Do you know what? It's actually kind of rare to come across a Tyranid player these days. Maybe that's what, you know, how bad the actual army is. Um, I, I can again, I'm just making assumptions at the moment. But from what I've seen from Tyranid players, like just checking in on them every now and then, um, they're, they are not really one of the best armies to play, especially now with the Space Marines getting the buffs and stuff, so maybe this will bring them um, in the ballpark again and we'll see people playing Tyranids again and hopefully they'll um, be one of the strong front runners when you come to uh, battle them on a the tabletop. And of course we have Stratagems as well, this is a pre a Stratagem this is for all Tyranids by the way, it doesn't mention like, you know, Leviathan only or anything so this is Aggressive Adaptation one command point. What I've been noticing a lot actually, just before we read this is that I've noticed all the command points have dropped down to like one or two. Like, for example, one of the most powerful ones, I think, in the Space Marine Arsenal is a chapter master. Reroll all hit rolls. And that is two command points. It used to be free. So I wonder if GW is bringing it down so you can use them more and, you know, bring more purge to the battlefield. Anyway, um, it says, use this stratagem in the fight phase when an enemy unit is destroyed as a result of an attack made by a high fleet model from your armor until the end of the battle, improve the armor penetration characteristics of melee weapons that model, um, in, sorry, 
sorry. Oh, let me say that again. Until the end of the battle, improve the armor penetration characteristic of melee weapons. That model in that model's... Wait, what? 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 Improve the armor penetration characteristics of melee weapons that models in that model's unit are equipped with by one. Okay, that was that is a tongue twister. Um, <laughs> God damn it. Um, and then in brackets, he's got EG a AP zero becomes AP minus one. Each unit can only be affected by the stratagem once per battle. There we go. We finally got through. I'm sorry. It's been a long day. But then again, that was... I don't know. You, you guys read that yourself. Is that a tongue twister or not? Um... That is really, really cool. Um, it says at the bottom, whatever type of swarm you use, you'll find stratagem to support your style of play. There's also some new upgrades for you to choose from. We'll get to that in a second. Now, this doesn't say once per battle. So can you can can you keep using this? Like one command point, one command point, one command point, one command point, on like a really, like a gene stealer unit, just go, go through it all. And, you know, they can end up being like, you know, AP minus 12 or some ridiculous thing like that. Because I get, I can't see it anywhere. I don't see it mentioned in the text anywhere that you can. This is like a once per battle thing, so um, that could be pretty deadly if you've got like a nice unit that can like chomp through um, um, a, a lot of units and you know just get all 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 the AP you could take. And the next one is Bio Artifacts and it's Pathogenesis. It actually says at the bottom, give your Hive Tyrant with a heavy Venom cannon the Pyogenesis Bio Artifact and watch them blast your enemies into bite-sized chunks from even further away. And the actual, well, I'm, I'm going to say Relic, well, you know what, let's, no, let's call it Bio Artifact because that's what they're calling it. Um, add 8 inches to the range characteristics of a ranged weapon a model with this Relic is equipped with. In addition, when a model with this Relic fires overwatch or is chosen to shoot with you can re-roll a single hit roll and you can re-roll a single wound roll that seems okay um again i'm gonna hold my hands up i don't really know tyranny is that much to say this is really awesome especially a hive titan with a heavy venom cannon is that good is i i, I personally think anything that gives you um a chance to re-roll anything is always going to be worth it because re-rolls is everything in this game now if you could uh, you know re-roll the wands re-roll all hit rolls with chapter masters it really does make a massive massive difference to when you come to shoot things and blast things off the board and the last thing previewed is actually something i think is really, really cool adaptive physiology so it says a tyranid warlord it can usually select a warlord trait but with the blood of baal your leader beast will have an, uh, another uh, another option rather than determining a trait you can select an infantry unit or a monster in your army and give it an adaptive physiology instead these represent a range of gene splice abilities that tyrannids use in order to secure victory and the one that they've actually shown off is called dynamic camouflage and it says when resolving an attack made with a ranged weapon against a model from this unit that is receiving the benefit of cover add two to the saving throw instead of one now, th that is good, because cover is always going to be awesome, but, but, me as an Imperial Fist, I ignore cover, so, technically, do you have cover? No, you don't. I, 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 I'm, I'm going to say that does not mean anything to me as an Imperial Fist, because we ignore cover, so even if you're in cover, that doesn't matter, because technically to us, you're not in cover, because we ignore cover. Have I lost you? Is, is, is this going down the rabbit hole too much? So there we have it. Uh, confirmed in this article that Imperial Fists are the best chapter to take against Tyranids. Leave it to the Sons of Dawn once again to mop up all these Xenos foes because it's only us that can be trusted to defend the Imperium. Not those bloody Ultramarines. You know, Kalgar losing all his arms and legs. What a noob. It's down to the Imperial Fists. We are the best. And that's really it for this article. That's the little preview they had. It does say at the bottom that this is just a taste, of course. This is just a taste to get people. Oh, that looks nice that looks pretty cool um i i would personally would like to hear from you tyranny players people that play this armor people that have been waiting uh, for so long for rules for this armor i want to hear your, your chaps opinion because that's what really matters i can't really make a judgment on this because i'm not a tyranny player so i can't really say that is going to be a massive game changer that is overpowered and stuff like that because for me i'm pure and pure imperium and that is where all my bias and that's where all my loyalty um stays with if there's one thing that I dislike about this Blood of Baal thing is that only the Blood Angels received um, a nice little new character. I'm, I want to say new character, an upgraded character. I would like to see like a maybe, I don't know, I don't know, a new Gene Stealer HQ or something badass like that because all new models are amazing. I think we all love to get new models and receive new models and play with new models and just, yeah, new models just 
bring up the hype. So it's kind of crappy that only Mephisto got that love, but um, maybe sometime in the future, um, you chaps will be in the table. You turn the chaps and you'll maybe get some brand new characters and stuff like that, uh, brand new HQs and all that kind of stuff. Right, that is me done for another video. Thank you for coming, thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. Of course, please leave all your thoughts and feedback in the comment section and we can have a nice little chat about it down there as always. See you now, have a great night and enjoy yourself. See you now, bye-bye. <laughs>